I see how it is. The street, there's, there's no Steve right now, so you're all leaving. Alright. Go in, starting with the Pyro. Is that an accident? Is he gonna, is he gonna instant switch? No, he's not. He's like, I can play Pyro in neutral. Easy. Ah, not even, not even punishable. I thought he was gonna do, I think he was gonna do parry turn around jab, and that would have been fine. But parry turn around, I'll be, I'll be just too slow. Oh, I like, I like the idea. He's, he's really trying to call out uh, Brad's jumping, just like full hop there. It's just the problem with playing Pyro is, is just you just have to commit so hard to everything. And then you're upstage, and things get bad. And he waits for air dodges, and you die. He swaps, and he's gonna get countered. Oh, Brad doesn't counter. I think he could have. I think Q should have died. Alright, gets back safely. But where's he going? Uh, just waits for Q to commit. And then he runs in. Safe. Good option. If I get worse, he would have got dash right basically by Q in that situation. Oh, well, now his jump's caught out though. This is scary. He's slightly off of the timing. Yep. There's the dash tech there. Safe. Nice cross up. Brad chasing him down. A good roll in by Q. He saw where Brad was put in that smash and he gets out of the way. Oh, he could have maybe done something more than down tilt. Good chase by Brad. It's so scary to dash into Pyro, but like you gotta do it sometimes. They're not always gonna throw out a move. Ah, there we go. Q's antsy, looking for regular get up, which Brad has done a couple of times, but this time Brad jumped out the way. Punishable easy. Yep. So brave. I've never seen a man so brave. Just jumping in Pyro's face. Jumping in Pyro's face. Another four there. He's dead. He's gone. Ah, now we're swapping to the middle. Dead. Nah, -uh, he says. And Pyro at low percent. Makes perfect sense. Another four side? Oh. Damage. Barry, nice jab. Now he's got now he's got a uh, Brad at ledge. What can he make happen? Brad's so lucky to like slide off there. Uh, Miss tech, like F3 can like combo. Not true combo, but like you can re you can react to all of their um, tech roll options. But not if they slide off, that's for sure. There we go. We're holding. Nah, too low to too low to get down to. Oh, that's punishable. We're gonna see the uh, Q F smash. Nah, it's holding back. Dead. Never mind. He's barely, barely escapes the uh, down tilt up smash. Wait, but Brad safely lands with an air. Ah, he tries to parry, but he's too early. Yeah, we're punished into back there. Because he was DIing in. How are we getting off? Regularly get up. Ah, there we go. Brad just plays patient, waiting for um, Q to like choose a defensive roll or, you know, bad dash in. Gets the forward Though, if he got the forward side on the throw, you know, rolled a little bit later, wouldn't it, it wouldn't be able to kill him. Just get like down to up smash damage and then maybe go pirate to catch landing or something. Game one, two side two, and pretty convincing. We're going to town. Good choice. Good choice. Looks like we're probably staying in the Mithra then. Yep. This time starting Mithra, not even not even going to the Pyra. It worked for a little bit, the first dog, and then I think Brad just got too far ahead. And I think um, Q kind of acknowledges that. Three, two, one, go! Oh, good whiff punish. It's really hard to punish the nail landing from Pyra, because like the landing hitbox is like so big. Uh, I think I said Pyra, but I meant Mithra, obviously. Well, that's... Okay, yeah, except to the platform. Sure. He's chasing him. Where's he going? Brad doesn't hit a punish. It's just so hard. Uh, Mithra's like such a fast forward, you don't know... It's hard to like predict exactly where she's going. Even when she's just helpless. Alright. I believe. Bad position. Alright. Invincible edge to ledge. Always a good option. Now he's re-grabbing. 
Hey, he dies. Counter. He didn't even need counter. He was too far away from ledge. He's got Brad in a bad spot. And wow. What? Such great timing. Oh my god, yep. Even though you're invincible, you can still get four-sided. Remember, it's just like Bat Within from a Smash 4. Oh, not Bat Within, you know, like Witch Time and Smash 4. People would fall off the plat and get Witch Timed and then, like, get comboed <laughs> as soon as they're in balance. Remember that shit? Mithra can do the same thing. Not not quite as, not quite as like, ridiculous. Yep, yeah, invincible edit. I would like to see Q do some, like, run underneath up tilts. Wow, he gets him! And bad DI, because he was holding behind and doing back air. Insane. Oh, he gets the down smash. Yep, another invincible air dodge. Q, choosing a lot of, like, get-up shields rolling. Brad got him for that last game, but this time you're getting away with it. DIing the down throw correctly, though. That's a good start. Yeah, Q's just get out of there. He's like, I don't want to get hit. Until I get my combo. My turn. Ah. <laughs> yep, that move does not scale based on what hits it. It's just like a flat. So, you know. Jab. Oh, I got countered and died from, from a jab. Like, yeah, exactly. Back there. Get him off stage. Up air, up air. Nope, four sign. Not a real combo. Well. Wow. He's in a really good spot. Yeah, tries to kill a, um, like, jumping in fair with Brad. Brad loves to do this. Honestly. Like, we're aggressive options back on the stage. Oh, drop shield during the nair. This is looking good for Q. Are we going to see a pirate swap, or are we just going all mid -air? That's the question. Because if you're going to go pirate, this is, like, the time to do it. But he might just... He just might want to say better, better frame battle, you know? Try and get an F smash, down smash, maybe up smash. That will kill, I think. Oh, Jesus. Another one. It's dead. Damn, wow, really? Full hop land down smash, just instant do it. Because if that mid, if that if Brad shielded, that would have been a free Greninja F smash. Um to punish, and that would definitely kill. Eleven percent. So, you know. Q choosing the brave option and Brad wasn't ready. Maybe going for like a parry on like a on like a landing into down tilt, but Q ends up hitting him during his uh shield drop frames, that sort of thing. Or like you're maybe doing the start of the move. We got Brad's stage now, but honestly, like every stage is Mithra does not suffer on any stage. It's really just the inverse. Like Brad will suffer a little bit on some stages versus his character. Uh, like you can't really let them to go to Lila because it's Greninja and Lila's bad, and then FD and Town are actually a sort of. Uh, Mithra's hate, like, safe zone in this matchup. Um, Battlefield, and Battlefield, yeah, it's like, you know, Brad gets some combos, but obviously the sorties get their platform extensions. Facing. Not such good ledge trapping. Alright, those seem really strong in town. Yeah, they are. It's one of their best stages. I love how Q's playing, like, he's not being too aggro on Brad, like, trying to punish every little thing. He's, he's waiting for Brad to, like, make mistakes. Ah, he wanted to drop a back air, but he gets it this time. <laughs> Instead of trying to do drop through back air, he just runs off. Brad falls into that one. Yep, that now, you cannot shield grab it. Even if you, um, even if you had a good shield grab, you, they can jab before your shield grab comes out, I believe. Frame 2 jab. Combo. Yeah, waits for the roll. Free damage. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Q will take that. He's like, I'm, I'm fine. I'm back on stage. <laughs> Very brave grab from Brad. 
I reckon Q should have been the like jabbing there after the um after the what do you call it trade. <laughs> oh, what a catch! Brad too obvious with that falling there. But Q tries to challenge the side B and gets punished for it. Why is it Yoshi's music on Battlefield? It's a you know just a modded Switch, bro. It's not. Haven't we heard all Yoshi? Yeah, but there's no Yoshi. Yoshi stage is banned now, so it's actually fine. Again, that one last one didn't kill, but this one will. Brad needs to be more careful with his, uh, you know, option to get back to stage. He's being like a bit greedy with the jumping phase. Ah, four tilt to grab. What a confirm. <laughs> this character has it all. Nah. Oh, he edge is in. He could die from that. Is he going to? He's no jump. He's no edge. Okay, yep. Yeah, the pirate will be to get down. That's actually that's actually a funny use of it. One thing that Q does better than me in this matchup is... Okay, that's not that's safe. <laughs> One thing Q does better than me is he doesn't, like, try and out-of-shield punish all of, like, Greninja's stuff. That's it. Brad had the read. Q fucked up his move. And so Brad dies. <laughs> that's that. I'm just... just let, let, I'm putting it out there. Q just messes up his aerial. Completely whiffs. And gets the kill. Uh, that's just how it be sometimes. Brad thinking. He knows he can do it. But he's like, you know, third on PR was nice, but um, you know, silver trophy? The gold, even? A shot at the gold, you know? That's what he wants. Going back to town? I don't know. I like this stage for Mithra. In this matchup, especially. Short blast, short side blast zones are really good for them because, like, um, they just have less distance to recover. <laughs> Literally, it's less. Their recovery is less of a downside when you, they're never really too far away to like just jump in air dodge. He's neutral. Brad just can't break it. That's what I'm seeing right now. Yep, Q waiting, and Brad's just scared to press a button. He doesn't want to, like, get hit by landing there. Q just gets a Tomahawk grab, you know, that's just what's happening. Oh, he drops shit. Oh, that's just... I, maybe he wanted to jump out. Like, he's like, Q won't get the timing, but Q had charged it enough to be safe, so he's like, I'm just going to let it rip now. And Brad getting off to the right time. Exactly. Mithra has all the range to work with, and she can do some garbage, like, off the side, by the way. Like, if she gets you on the platform... I mean, every character can, but... It, oh, is he... Q should have actually charged neutral B there. Um, like, it's... It's really strong base. Really strong base knockback in that situation. And you can, like, use it to catch their defense option. Oh, no! Sneaking through the air smash. Q's defense is just unbreakable. Uh, except for like grabbing on the cross up. Yeah, he just he knew he was dead. Ah, he's got it previously, so I respect going for it, but it is it is hard to get. Another have smash though, that one will get with punished. Now Brad suddenly got you at 70? Off two F smashes, and you might die? Okay, we're not dead, but we might have. A third F smash, this one won't be punished. Q's stolen my um, up throw up air, <laughs> by the way. Ooh, interesting. Ah, oh, what, what a catch. Nah, kind of not going to do it, but... I think whoever gets like this stock is going to have a really good lead. There we go, untackable. Why, why even go for down air when you can just back air and, you know, an attackable kill? DI away. Oh, what a catch. Try perfectly drifting away with that fair. Yeah, DI in. That's a good option, by the way. You get down throw, DI in. At zero, at least, on front of Mithra. Oh, 
Happy, not punished. Oh, he actually, he actually gets the full save. No way he's killed him, it's him. GG.